Tesla is making big moves in AI and processing and compute power because although FSD is just about solved, it isn't solved quite yet. Uh, that's going to draw a whole lot of juice. And how much juice is it and what does it matter? Uh, let's find out about that. I'm Brian. Welcome to Future Oz. Oh, 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 oh. Joining me is Randy Kirk as he too often does. We've got uh, this interesting uh, post on X this week from uh, the man himself. Sizing for 130 megawatts of power and cooling this year, but will increase to 500 megawatts over the next 18 months or so, aiming for about half Tesla AI hardware, half NVIDIA and others. Play to win or don't play at all. Uh, yeah, so uh, as a gamer, um, which I don't remember which games he played Diablo or something. Yes. You want to have a powerful computer and this one's powerful. Uh, so with this in, in mind, Matt from Rebellionaire said, this is an absolutely massive amount of power. And I don't know how Tesla plans to procure this. Does anyone have knowledge of how Tesla intends to run 500 megawatts as base load here? So I stepped into the conversation at this point and said, well, I mean, ERCOT is a grid. There's a countless providers. You order it and you get it. And he said, mm, check on that. So I did. Okay. I found out and I found out that that's a lot of juice. <laughs> so this week I've had the opportunity to speak with a uh, coal fired power plant engineer and a nuclear power plant engineer at length and get all kinds of information. When I was speaking with Larry, if you're, if you're watching Larry, thanks for the information. I told him, um, it's 500. You know, I said, well, they need power. Can't they just order it? And he goes, well, how much do they need? And I said, 500 megawatts. And the look on his face, <laughs> but you'd think I just asked him for a kidney. Uh, so do you know how much power 500 megawatts is? Enough like, to power 160,000 model threes for a year for, or something like that. I forget that something like that on the, uh, somebody posted the other day. It was like a really big number. Well, let's take a look here. Average, uh, monthly, uh, electricity usage in the U S by city. Well, this is monthly, so I'm not sure if that's the right figure, but, uh, oh, wow. Denver uses 475 megawatts. Okay. Uh, so I think that's, uh, so I think it'd be one twelfth of that, but it, it is, oh, uh, it is a city's worth. Um, you know, the biggest, uh, power plants tend to be nuclear. Let's share this. And, uh, a good nuclear power plant will generate about a gigawatt a year. Mm -hmm. So you would need like half, half. of a nuclear power plant. <sighs> I mean, even that's... Before, even before AI, when we were just talking about regular uh, data centers that didn't have the AI requirement, uh, people like Amazon and Google were placing these, you know, next to dams. You know, that was mm -hmm. the... The, the placement of the data center was to get it as close to the power as possible. And uh, there's a, I think in Portland, I want to say it's in Portland, there's a dam and it uses half of the power uh, from that dam. The other half going to the, I think it was to Portland. I can't, that could be Seattle. I could be confused. You, you might know more about that. You are from the hood. I am from, <laughs> yes, I am from Coffeeville, uh, coffee region. Um, 500 megawatts is an eye-watering amount of power. Uh, we figured it was about 300,000 homes worth of power. Uh, that is uh, an absolutely astounding amount of energy. And I don't know how you... So I asked my engineer friends, how do you get that much power? And they said, someone will have to build it. They will have to go out onto the market and find someone who either has a mothballed plant they can bring back online and they don't have to give the power straight to Tesla. They just have to put it into the grid so Tesla can get it. Um, or they'll have to build out capacity for that. So I just typed in 500 megawatt solar, uh, yeah. plant yeah. and I found ranges between 900 acres and 3000 acres, meaning if Tesla covered all of their available land, with solar panels, it would probably not be enough power at peak sunlight to do the job. And that is uh, 
a lot of juice and there is land around and there's wind farms or you can't just order a wind turbine they take too long to come online uh, and the back well the backlog is years if you order it today they're being installed very quickly if you order it today it's yeah, well, that's what I mean. Is the wind turbines take ages to get because they're very large and there's permitting. And it's already being built at, I assume, maximum speed. Solar, <laughs> we've got the new 100% import tariff. Yeah. So that's yeah. so that's great. Uh, that just made it more expensive. But someone somewhere is going to have to agree to either build a plant unmothball a plant or find some way of getting additional production out of their plant. I have that's going to cost money. I have a headline. Here's the headline. I'm ready. I'm ready. Headline is Elon has already arranged this. It's already, you think? It, whatever, mm. whatever is going to happen, it's mm. already done. I mean, it's like, you know, it may be that he's got, you know, steamer loads or what do you call it? Container loads, hundreds of containers, loads of solar battery, solar uh, panels from China heading over here that he got before the tariff. Um, you know, and he's going to start putting them up all over Texas, or he may have unmothballed a plant already. I mean, whatever it is, he didn't put in this facility at the south end of Austin without knowing where he's going to get that 500 megawatts. That's a very good point. I appreciate that perspective because now that you mention it, let's say I place that half billion dollar order or billion dollar order, and you know that the person uh, accepting that request for uh that invoice would say by the way do you have power yeah. <laughs> right i mean you've done that before where for your business you ordered something and they're like by the way do you have the right extruder no, uh, for this that, or the last, the last building that i moved into before we sold um everything Finding a building that had enough power was the entire problem. And then when we moved in, we found out that the cable that was coming into the building, yeah, I think I'm exaggerating, about that big, the cable that was coming wow. in the building was so old that it wasn't able, even though it was the right size, it was too old to handle our power. And so we had to have them, you know, from the street to the building, come in and replace. Yeah, so power is, yes, you're thinking about that. That's what I'm saying. Elon, from the minute they decided to start building this, he was already, he had a team figuring out what is the smartest way to do the power. When I worked in broadcast electronic sales, uh, a guy called up and said, I'd like to buy 30 VCRs. And our first question was, what for? And he said, what does it matter to you? And I yeah. said, because I need to configure, I mean, I need to make sure it's going to work. He's yeah. just sell it to me, just sell it to me. <laughs> so I sold him 30 VCRs and he gets them and says, where are the cables that connect them to each other? And I said, for what? You never told me what it's for. Well, I made, I'm an independent filmmaker and I'm making copies of my silly movie. And I go, you never told us that we have no, I, we don't know what you're using right. it for. So uh yeah. but really now that i think about it 30 vcrs you might have a power issue even with that in the yeah. 90s that's a lot of juice you guys what are we doing here so uh, i did want to say a big thank you to matt from rebellioner matt smith matt chasm matt on x uh for uh helping me better understand the question because as elon said if you don't understand how to ask the right question the right answer becomes impossible. You can't get there. So uh, I have better understanding, able to use to find better answers and to uh, blow the minds of a few people who are saying that it's uh, that's not that much, which is what I, I had a, a mistake I had made. The other thing I would like to point out is to the people saying FSD is already solved internally, and we're just waiting for the next release to get it, and it will be solved. I would argue this investment in compute is not the investment you make when you're already solved. Uh, this would be an amount of compute that strikes me as too large for just future tasks. I don't think Optimus would require this much compute this early. Um, so there are big questions remaining to be solved. And I certainly don't know what they are in the comments. <laughs> maybe you know what they are. Well, you can help little. us. I can help you a little, okay? I'll, I'll I wish you. you would. And then let the commenters tell me where I'm wrong or, or figure out in between. I just happened to be listening to a Lex Friedman uh, interview this morning with a really smart guy. 
I'm sorry. I, I could maybe send you the note later, and you could put it in the uh, put it in the uh, information. But um, this guy was saying that specifically with regard to FSD, um, that the ninety the 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 nine the nines every nine uses roughly ten times as much. Uh, uh, oh. Okay, as much uh, data compute as, and as much, power and everything, and everything. And Elon had actually commented the other day that that was uh, in the ballpark. It wasn't that much. It was less. So the fact that you're rolling out more and more uh, requirement for the compute at these levels requires massive amounts of additional compute to get it done. You, the other half of this is only half of the facility down in Texas is going to be compute. compute. The other half is going to be for um, the uh, the chip that goes into the car is for FST. Yeah, oh. F but it's yeah. <laughs> I, the chip that goes into the car is potato, potato chip, potato chips. Yes, yes. Uh, um, um, well, unless you mean dojo, we do we do compute and then we also do training uh, no, not tra after the training inference inference. So half of the comp half of what they're doing, the South End data center is for inference. Mm. Okay. And the inference requirement is also going to continue to grow. Very fun. Very fun little watching both of us struggle to figure out what you are imagining. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is part of aging. <laughs> Welcome to being old. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to be here. Uh, tip your waitress. Yeah, that's a discussion we've already had. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. And what I want to know is when they're done training FSD and they can still give it some power, get a couple more nines in the future, slower yeah. once it's 10 times safer than humans, a hundred times uh, the, the requirements go down, then they're going to train Optimus. But then yes. what? Then what? It'd be easy to say, well, you'll run out of things to train, but that's not how technology ever, ever works. Because, you know, 100 years ago, they were pretty much done inventing. I mean, there could yeah. be a few things left, but the patent, who knows? The not much. Office. The patent we office was like, the patent office thought so yeah, we, we got to plan on winding this thing down. <laughs> what are they going to invent? Uh, it's a couple things left. One or two. So in the comments, what do we miss? What do we misunderstand? Leave it. I beg of you, leave it. Just leave it. <laughs> like, subscribe, do the usual. Head over to the old Randy Kirk channel, see what he's up to. He's uh, sometimes on X. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, I don't uh, I don't believe in YouTube or X because uh, I'm a hermit, and I don't know what any of this equipment is in front of me or how it works. I just speak into the void. I think that's all true. Pretty sure that's true. Uh, well, you know, it's funny. Uh, apparently, many of the Amish now have cell phones because they were required to put lights on their carriages because they kept getting crashed into by cars who couldn't mm -hmm. see them. And once they've got a solar panel to charge up their little LED lights, they're like, well, I might as well plug in a cell phone too. The Amish are changing. I've still never seen one of the kids, though. It's weird, right? It's like baby pigeons. Do they exist? I've never seen an omelet in real life. All right. Well, uh, everybody else, you know, like, subscribe, do the usual. Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity flop. <laughs>